right folks we're at the next stage so as you can see we're now insulating it which isn't easy i'll tell you now so i've just tied with some string um the bat insulation around and then the chicken wire goes on i'll stand up this side's a bit easier so then the chicken wire goes on and then we'll just have to start forming it round by doing like i've done there so just tear it tear a bit out and then when that comes down it'll fill in and just work me work my way around tearing the top and then I'm, once I've got this chicken wire fixed, I'll be able to then put some chicken wire over the top and like twiddle the bits, you know, they, they just come back down here. You know, like those little ends, I'll be able to push them in and underneath this chicken wire to tighten it all up. All right, I'll come back in a bit. Right, folks, it is not the prettiest thing in the world um, by a long chalk, but it's well insulated. The chicken wire, is on holding it when i render which i'm not gonna be able to do today um i will put some what you basically what i'll do is put a pair of pliers in them and, and twist and it and it nips it up so it tightens it all up um i just i ain't got time to do it now i've got to go to work um so it's all nice and wrapped um some bits have got a bit more insulation than others just where i've overlapped them and flattened them but I'm going to cut them bits off that protrude so that I can render neatly down to the to the base. Um, I'll decide what I'm doing around it after. So, like I said, I've wrapped the chimney. I've wrapped the chimney more to build it out, just to give me um, a bit more bulk to put my render on, because I want to render it same as the body. Right, folks. So, so yeah, the string's nylon. So I'm going to render that in and then I'm just going to run down there. But after the first coat of render, I'll run down there neatly with angle grinder and just straighten it all up. And then it'll just all be rendered in nice and neat. So we're on to rendering. Um, I did a bit yesterday, but I couldn't do any videos because there were too many people here. So basically on top of the, as you can see there, on top of the fiberglass, there's the chicken wire. So we just basically the, the, you really can't be i'll just walk around you really can't be too precious with this your first coat it's gonna sag a bit in spots it's gonna be a bit rough in spots you know the different colors because the different sands that's all i'm just using up what we've got um so you literally just have to daub it on that's you can see that's where I've scratched yesterday. You've got to roughen it up so that the next coat sticks to it. So that's it. I'm putting it on. So that's as you can see there, it's sank down. But I'll let that I'll just let that go off and then I'll fill the crack tomorrow or whenever when I get on with next coat. So I'll come back when I've got it on. Sorry, I'm knackered. It's hard work for me, is this? All right, back in a bit. All right, so it's all had um, at least one coat of render on. The front bit has had two because I've managed to render over the top because it's a lot firmer. But as you can see here, you can see the chicken wire just poking through uh, where it's only had one coat. But that's fine because, like I say, it's just... See, it's poking through here. It's just to get that first layer on to make it rigid enough. I'll come down here, same again. I've, I've put two coats... On this front half so you can see that i'm going to give it a couple of hours and then i'll scratch it right right folks so it's now got its complete coat of render on um and i've just scratched it you must scratch in between coats it doesn't have to be like i say it doesn't have to be beautiful it doesn't have to be super smooth it can be lumpy bumpy but you must scratch it you must scratch the surface in between coats so that the next coat will stick to it what i will do and what is i will put some pva glue and water mixture on before i put the next coat on that just helps it stick 
it sort of wets up the original coat and then helps the next coat to stick a bit um right so that's it for today we'll be back when we're doing the next route that's half for now folks so hopefully if the weather holds out this will be the last day on the pizza oven so today it's getting its final coat of render which will be smoothed off and made all nice and pretty um i'm just putting a mixture of pva glue basically pva and water on because it's been covered it got a little bit dry um so it just sort of wets up the surface a little bit but also the pva the glue it helps it to stick it helps the, the top coat to stick to this coat um it's commonly done on rent when you're rendering especially if you're on like a dry dusty surface when you're putting your first coat on um i usually put it on in between every coat it just like i say it just helps it stick <clears throat> it'll take a bit longer to go off for me to rub up with a sponge um so you can see how it's all nice and rough surface so once i've put that on we'll get on with the mix i'm going to put some fiberglass fibers in it i'll show you in the next video uh, just it just helps it sort of hold together and stops it cracking we have actually had four or five small drying fires in here just to help dry the inside um and even after sort of an hour the outside is still flat cold so it's, it's pretty good the insulation is obviously working right on with the next bit right folks so we've got as render mixed up um i'll just show you so these this is what the fibers look like dry and you mix them in with your water and they turn into like in the little individual strands um and when you mix them in to your render you, they just vanish you can't see them but they're like minute reinforce sorry i'm gonna start flicking them off my fingers they're like minute reinforcing bars um sorry i'm just trying to dry my hands so yeah oops they are they're like little minute reinforcing band so just get it on don't mess about just get it on just work your way around put your render on and as you can see from here i'm using a, a, a proper sorry a proper plasterer's hawk to, to put the cement on and I'm using a combination of a proper float, a flat square trowel, and a little pointing trowel. I'll just get a little bit, the pointing trowel, I'll put it, I don't know, don't know, it's for the little bits where you don't want to put a lot on. So it's hard to do this and show you. So basically, when you're trying to do it, see how it just falls off? You've, you've really not got to put much on. So I'm trying to do it through the camera. So, you know, you can use that to put on like that. <clears throat> and then I'll just get a big dollop, a dollop, big dollop on arc. This is where, like I say, you don't have to be, you know, chuck it on bottom like that and just push it against and drag it up. But don't, don't try and be too fancy just put it on and drag it up and that's it leave it at that and then get a bit more and you just use your hot there's loads of videos on youtube about rendering and how you do it so the mix is quite wet it's because i want to be able to spread it so once i've got it all on at the top there i've put a, i've put a plant pot in the hole just so that i can render up to the plant pot so i'll be back in a bit so half an hour right folks so that's the final coat of render on so like i say you don't need to flatten it off you don't need to get rid of any marks you know like these marks here um i've just started i'll just walk down here just filling in a little bit do a bit of tidying up so so i'll just come around here and show you so once it starts to dry all you need is a sponge 
and a bit of water. So I don't know if you can, you can tell the difference here where I, sh I shouldn't really, it's still a bit early, but because of the breeze and because of the top, the height there, the water runs down, you know, the water will run down and it'll come down. This bit here is really squidgy. This here is, I'm able to rub it. So I'll just show you quickly now what, so when, I'll come around this side, sorry. I've started to gently rub up some of the the big marks um, like round there sorry with fat fingers then bits so all you do I'll just have to try and do it, is just I'm not putting any pressure on whatsoever when it's this wet I'm just literally the weight of the sponge and it just knocks off it just knocks off any any high points like up there on that corner I just gently so this is just the first sort of smoothing it's hard to do it with viewing it through the camera um, it's the first sort of smoothing of these big marks I, I can't reach around there so but you know so them and it just moves a little bit of the render the soft squidgy top bits it just moves it about knocks off the high spots but like I say, you'll know what I'm, I'm. You'll know what I mean if you have a go at it. You cannot put any pressure on. You put any pressure on, and it'll just push the render away. So literally, it is just the weight of a damp, a damp sponge. All right, I'll come back when it's time to give it a proper, its first proper rub over. Okey doke. See you no more. All right, folks. So that's the that's the pizza oven finished rubbed up everything um we've had a few fires in it small fires so today is the day we hopefully do his first pizza so i'll just stand back a bit and you can see it's all rendered in and rubbed up i'll just come come around and show you back so that's it all finished done and dusted i'm gonna put a coat of exterior paint on it just just some standstone paint <clears throat> i won't gonna but i've been persuaded um and i just think it will help it as well okie doke bye right folks i'm just doing this in real time please excuse the uh <clears throat> the tools it's not i've not got uh, everything sorted yet but that's been in about 20 seconds and we've done a few and they're literally taking about a minute it's absolutely incredible it's amazing i don't know if you can tell by my voice but i am so chuffed it is absolutely amazing how quick these little pizzas <clears throat> do I think I put a bit the first one we did I didn't put a lot of topping on I think I might have gone a bit mad this time but it's sort of everywhere I've looked so you've got a pro I've got a proper peel <clears throat> it, it says to sort of hold it up like that for a not long but I don't know what it's a bit hot. It is a bit warm. <clears throat> that tastes absolutely incredible. Right, folks. Ta-ta for now.